breaking news, guys. Namdi Kanu drops Bon Chef from prison. Others are able to do this immediately before December 15th judgment. The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Namdi Kanu, is calling on his supporters to maintain a, a heightened state of vigilance as they await the crucial Supreme Court judgment on his incarceration scheduled for December 15. Kano, a prominent figure in the pursuit of Biafran independence, has emphasized the importance of focus and resilience in the face of potential disruptions orchestrated by what he refers to as fifth columnist seeking to destabilize the situation ahead of the court's decision. This plea for vigilance was converged during a meeting between Kano and his legal team at the Department of State Service DSS facility in Abuja on Tuesday. Aloye Jimako, Kano's special counsel, shared the leader's message urging supporters to remain watchful against any attempt to rock the boat in the days leading up to the judgment. Namdi Kano's legal saga dates back to his arrest in June 2021 in Kenya, where he was subsequently subjected to extraordinary rendition upon his return to Nigeria. The federal government initially charged him with a four-count pre-rendition charge However, the charges were later amended by the former Attorney General of Nigeria, Abubakar Malami, who replaced all but one count with a 14 count charge related to terrorism and membership in a proscribed organization. The legal proceedings took various turns with the Federal High Court in response to applications reducing the charges to seven counts. Eventually, the Court of Appeal quashed these charges despite being discharged and acquitted. Nnamdi Kanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, remains in court study, prompting concerns and protests from his supporters who believed his continued detention is unjust. Aloy Ijimako took, uh, Aloy Ijimako took, took to his social media to share Kanu's directive following the meeting with his legal team in a post on his ex handle Jimako wrote, Update 1. Just existed today, visitation with Onyendo. Hashtag Mazi Namdekano in the complaint of my colleague, Barisa Mandela. He directed that as we count down to December 15, the lawyer and faithful should be vigilant to any plot by the, the fifth colonist to rock the boat and pin the blame on our people. As December 15 approaches, the anticipation surrounding the Supreme Court judgment heightens, putting the spot tight on Namdi Kanu's situation and the border implications for the Biafran movement. The prolonged legal battle and Kanu's continued detention have become a fiscal point of discussions, both nationally and internationally. Despite his discharge and acquittal, Kanu's incarceration persists, raising, raising questions about the hindrance to legal processes and the rule of law in Nigeria. His case has become symbolic of larger issues related to human rights freedom of expression, and the right to self-determination. In response to Kanu's call for vigilance, supporters have expressed their commitment to remaining fast and alert in the days leading up to the Supreme Court ruling. Protests and advocacy efforts are expected to intensify as the Biafran movement seeks justice and the release of its leader. Meanwhile, on Thursday, December 7th as well, the indigenous people of Biafra 
IPOP urge the Supreme Court to emulate the appeal court by granting freedom to his leader, Namdi Kano. IPOP insisted that the Biafra agitator committed no crime, both locally and internationally, to warrant his continued detention. The Supreme Court will deliver judgments on an appeal challenging Kano's continued incarceration by the Nigerian government. However, IPOP spokesman Ima Parafo urged members of the group to be ready to receive Kano on December 15th. A statement by Powerful reads partly, The global family and movement of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, ably led by the great liberator Mazen Namde Kano Ukechuku, express our readiness to receive our leader Mazi Namde Kano on the 15th of December 2023. IPOP wishes to reiterate that our leader Mazi Namde Kano did not commit any crime, both locally or internationally, and we expect the Supreme Court of Nigeria Justice to toe the line of justice and unconditionally release him, release Mazen Namde Kano. The Supreme Court judges are legal luminaries who understand the Constitution in relation to both international laws and treaties and local laws of Nigeria. The Supreme Court justice should emulate the appeal court justice who refused to bow to the executive bench of government intimidation but discharge Mazen Namde Kano and bar the Nigerian government from further arrest and persecution of our leader. So guys, what's your thought on this? Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.